Yes, hello? 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 Yes, I'd like to speak to a manager. I'm calling corporate. What's your name? I'm gonna need both of your names. And what was your name again? Did you just assault me? Where is the manager? Do you have a permit? Mm -hmm. Listen here, buddy. My grandparents came over here on a boat and worked their asses off. So I don't want to hear about your oppression that you claim to have to go through. Now, how can I possibly be racist when my purse is black? How am I racist? My ancestors' slaves were black. They're right outside. Yeah, there's four of them. I'm the granddaughter of an immigrant. They're a African American. Four of them. Kaepernick needs to just shut up and play. Why does he have to bring politics into everything? And who is he to be speaking on things like this? You're a football player. Just stay in your lane. Well, you're a racist for calling me a racist then. Drew Brees should be allowed to voice his opinion and stand up for what he believes in. Yes, exactly. And if you want to come to this country, you need to do it the right way. No, you're racist. And if you hate this country so much, then why don't you just leave? Excuse me, do you guys have a permit to be here? What? A permit. You can't just be loitering here. I've never seen any any of you guys. I need identification right now. <laughs> no, Alex talking to you right now. <laughs> you just assaulted me with your words. That's a felony. I can call the cops right now. Is that the route we want to go? My friend's great-grandfather fought in World War II, and I will not stand for this level of disrespect towards the flag. When that national anthem plays, you will stand for that flag. It seems to be that they're, they're filming, so they have something in their hand. I don't know what it is. It could be a camera, it could be something else. I don't know. When that anthem plays, you will stand for that flag. And let me tell you why. There were a lot of black soldiers that fought in World War II. And when they came back to the U.S. after the war, the black soldiers weren't even given the same rights as fellow white people. The rights that they fought to win, they weren't even given them when they were back in the U.S. You still need to stand for that flag. Miss, they are threatening my life. Um, are you kneeling right now? You are disrespecting the American flag. That is blatant disrespect. My grandfather fought in World War II, and I will not stand for this level of disrespect towards the American flag in my country. So think about what you're doing. I'm tying my shoes. But you're kneeling. It's like if you're not gonna stand for our national anthem and honor our great American flag, then I'm not gonna watch the game. <laughs> I demand entry. Ma'am, you don't have a mask. No mask, no entry. I need my shampoo. They always want to make everything about race. Why does everything have to be about race? <laughs> oh, mother of God. <laughs> Hello? 911? Yes, the emergency is, um, th th there's, a, there's a, there's a black guy here. Whoa, whoa, what's he doing? Well, he's bird watching, but he looks armed. They pull the race card on everything. So yes, while my grandfather and great grandfather got the perks when they came back home after winning the war, black people didn't get the same rights and perks that everyone else got. Which doesn't even make any sense, and it's completely wrong because so many black people sacrificed their life for this country and still didn't get the same treatment as their white counterparts. But yeah, that's really bad. But you studied the Stanford flag. Look at all these thugs not standing. Hey, what do you want? Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. I'm just standing here, bro. Stop looking at me. Yo, bro, you looking at me. So stop looking at me. You was looking at me first. I'm calling the cops. On who? On you. There ain't no way. I just been standing here this whole time. What'd I do? You're psychologically abusing me. Psycho you just made that up right now? What you mean? Hello? Yeah, officer? Uh, I'm being psychologically abused right now. Nah, hold on, hold on. He's, uh, he looks armed. Armed with what? My phone? He's been screaming at me for the past half hour. It's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma. Roll the window down. Can you please turn down the music? What? The music in your car is way too loud. I can hear it from across the street. It is blasting my eardrums. My fish are trying to sleep, and you guys are preventing that. Please turn the music down. Nah, this is crazy. I'm not gonna leave until you turn the music down. So I suggest you stop playing your thug music and just leave. We're not going anywhere. Well, then I'm not going anywhere either, then. I'm chilling right here with you guys. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you need to get off the car. Hey. Do not, Bye. you guys need to turn the music down right now. Do not roll the window. You're gonna regret this. Bye. You are going, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You should not have done that. Nah, she's crazy. Gunna is way better than little baby, bro. After this concert, after this album, you're about to Oh my God, Gunna's black people. Gunna's the hottest rapper of the year. Bro, you I'm ain't heard my son. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Hey y'all, um, excuse me. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Do you guys live here? You guys live anywhere around here? No, we're just visiting my, my guy right up the street. No, you don't live here? We're just walking to a friend's house. Who's the friend, if I could ask? Why do you need to know that? Okay, well, 
Can I see your guys' IDs, please? For what? I don't know you. As a resident of this neighborhood, it's my responsibility to see who's coming through here. Because we have kids here. And as a person walking down the street, it's none of your business what I'm doing. Can I see some IDs, please? Why do you need to see IDs for? Are you what? threatening me right now? Are you okay? You guys are threatening me. I'm recording this right now. I'm recording this. So you're going to go viral. I don't care if I'm going viral. I'm recording this. Another Karen on the book. Got you right on film. From this is for my safety. Let's just go, man. She's crazy. Man. Hey, back up. I'm not there. Crazy, bro. You guys need to back up. You guys are threatening me right now. Stop threatening me. I'm doing this for my safety. I Yo, what? Why are you still following us? Stop threatening me. You feel threatened, then stop following us. I feel unsafe. Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Whoa, well, hey, excuse me. Do, do you live here? Yeah, I do. What's your what's your room number? I do not have to tell you that. I've never seen you before. I live here. I have three children that live here. Ma'am, I'm on the fourth floor. Can I please? I do not feel safe right now. Ma'am, I just got off of work. Can I please? Where's your key fob? Here, I have my keys on me. Is this counterfeit? Ma'am, ma this is my key. Can I just go to my room? If please? you live here, let me follow you to your room. Excuse me. Do you live here? Uh, to prove to no. me that you live here. Excuse me. Can you just stop? <laughs> so, who are you here to see? I live here. That's why I'm going to my room. Okay, then. Can you just leave me alone? Can you leave me alone? I live here. Yeah, me too. No, you don't. Could you please stop following me? Please. With all due respect, I'm just trying to introduce myself. Oh, this is your room? Yes. All right, well, let's see if this is your room. Okay. Ma'am, don't ever do that again. Leave me alone. Well, if you're my new neighbor, I'd like to formally introduce myself. Welcome to the community. Black Lives Matter! I, I, no, I'm stop. No. No. All lives matter. Every single life matters. If that's the case, where's your mask? Look, you guys over here worried about the virus and stuff. We don't even know if it's real or not, okay? These experts and doctors and whatnot are lying. They're lying. And it's not as big of a deal. It's fear-mongering. They're fear-mongering you. So, all lives matter. Well, listen, we wear our masks because if the experts are right, we could be saving lives. And if the experts are wrong, all we had to do was wear a couple fabrics over our face for a couple months. So tell me what's worse. Come on. Back. The if I'm gonna film y'all. Stupid. Why they always I'm gonna film y'all. Why they always recording, bro? Like, come on, man. Take an ID picture. Come on, man. We're recording with five cameras. Filming y'all. So the funniest thing just happened as we're filming this scene. Literally, we're making fun of people, of these Karens, filming people, recording them, calling the cops. And the scene we just shot, there was a woman parked the car right there, started filming us and calling. As we were walking away, she was like, this video is supposed to be a joke, like comedy based upon real things, and it's supposed to be making these people look stupid, but it really just happened. So we were in the middle of the street, right? Yeah, she <laughs> continued recording us for like half a block. And then she started following us on top of that. I don't even know what to make of that, but we'll switch filming locations.